When I arrived in Zagreb, Croatia, I knew no one. Less than three days later, I had a handful of new friends like Vanessa, whom I met at the Autonomous Cultural Center Medica African Music Party. Besides a love for world music, we shared a passion for travel. And you yourself are a traveler, right? You like to travel? Yeah, I love to travel. And what's your favorite thing about travel? Well, when I first started traveling, I was always looking for some pretty places to visit and stuff like that. But um, now it's, I realize it's not about places, it's actually about the people. And um, meeting new people and making new experiences, meeting new cultures, it's what, uh, what gives me this good feeling when I return home from traveling. <laughs> and, and you've actually, as a female, you've done some solo travel, right? Yeah, my first trip uh, as solo traveler was to Jamaica. Do you feel safe as a female traveler? I was cautious. I was aware where I was traveling. So I was just cautious and I didn't have any bad experiences at all. For me, solo travel is an old favorite. Still, even I sometimes get a jolt of adrenaline and fear when traveling alone. However, I'm always heartened by stories of female solo travelers like Vanessa. I wanted to visit so many places and if I was always depending on my friends or people around me to make plans, I wouldn't travel <laughs> to many of those places. So um, just, just go for it. If, if it's what makes you happy, if it's what you want to do, just find the courage and you're not going to regret it. I promise you. <laughs> yeah, and when you, when you come back from a trip, do you find yourself more emboldened, uh, a little braver for the next trip? You're like, yeah, oh, that would be good? Yeah, definitely. Beginner travelers should understand that pre-travel jitters and doubts are just a natural part of travel, even for seasoned nomads. My most recent travel I did, I wasn't really sure, I wasn't really uh, feeling enthusiastic about doing it, but uh, as soon as I stepped out of the bus, I was traveling alone, and when I had to find the location I was looking for, for my accommodation, for the hostel, the metro, I remember this rush, you know, feeling like I'm strong and independent. I don't know, it's just a really good feeling. Traveling is a good feeling. Some might say addictive, but it almost always improves the life of the traveler. And as I discovered in Croatia, it's the new friendships one treasures most. Made me more open-minded. Um, more, more courageous, so, and this can be used in every day-to-day -day situations at work, for example, or uh, during my studies, it, it helps a lot, yeah. And also it's a, somehow, it's really, when you're open-minded and it's really easy to make new friends and meet cool new people. Like any good traveler, Vanessa is already daydreaming about her next trip. I really wanna see the pyramids. They can be either Egyptian or the uh, Aztec ones. Um, and I really want to go diving on a um, coral reef because also the, it's endangered right now because of the climate change. So I want to see this beauty if it's still possible. Yeah. It's, I'm also more about the quality than quantity. So I'll rather go longer somewhere than uh, just do a weekend trip, short trip somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I could not have said it better myself.